Hello mis amigos and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. What is this jumping? Anyway, and today we're gonna be in the kitchen. We're not in the kitchen right now, but we're gonna be in a little while because we're gonna cook. <laughs> not much else you can do in the kitchen. I could drink a coffee there. I could use a coffee. I mean, I could just insert that sentence in every single moment of my life and it would still be accurate, but I could really use a coffee right now. <laughs> but what we're really here to do is cook, as I've said already, and we're not just gonna cook any old meal. We're gonna cook something fancy. Thinking of it, maybe it's not as fancy. Anyway, we're gonna try and follow Gordon Ramsay's recipes and make a full-on dinner. It's only noon right now. But technically, it's supposed to be a dinner. Although I kind of mixed all of the recipes together. It was quite hard and I think that's because Gordon Ramsay is very particular about his meat and very fond of his meat. Yes, keep emphasizing on his meat to find vegetarian recipes, but I did find a couple, so we're gonna try them in this video. About three months ago, and this is what we're gonna try in this video as well, he uploaded a rather controversial video in which he tried to make a vegan meat alternative from an eggplant. To be quite honest, I'm not too familiar with him, but I think, judging by the comments, he's not really into vegan living, and judging by the comments, he kind of judges that a little, so so it was very interesting to see that he tried to make a vegan dish. <laughs> and they also said that this can never work. But we're here to find out if it actually tastes good. But that will be our main dish. First, we gotta do the first course. So just follow me into the kitchen because we're gonna make some fritters. No, I think it's called that. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Wait, you gotta come. <clears throat> I'm so funny. Welcome to La Cucina. We may have run into a problem already because I'm stupid and I do not think sometimes. So the first step for our fritters, what are they called? Cougette and herb cakes. Okay, let's call them that. To make these cakes, obviously you have to grate the zucchini and the, what's this called? Carrot. Um, well, <laughs> Gonna be a bit hard. We don't have a bigger one. <laughs> this was a gift. Let's just hope it's gonna work because otherwise we're fucked. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't actually know how much I need of everything because there's no proper or I couldn't find a proper recipe. I just go by his tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> tutorial. I don't even know which side to use of this. I guess this because everything else is just too small. I hate myself. I mean, this is too big though. Maybe I just have to cut it in half. <laughs> um, I mean, it's like kind of working. Yes, it was kind of working, but only if kind of means taking an hour for a job that would usually take you about four minutes had you bought the proper utensils. Goodbye. All right, I will already put that into a sieve because we have to get rid of all the liquid in there or the water in there. Well, and you guys have guessed it. We were still not done grading everything. Just know that I fought hard for this video and for you guys. After four and a half years, we finally made it, but we're not, we're not done yet. First we need a, he said sprinkle of salt and then basically put a kilo of salt in there, which is also what we're gonna do. And we're gonna put it on there in order to get rid of all of the liquid. Unfortunately, yes, you're out of focus. Unfortunately, and you have guessed it, we're not done with the grating yet because we're also gonna put some cheese in there, namely Palumi. So as it is written, so it shall be done. I don't even think RuPaul would have anything left to say, so just enjoy this amazing time lapse. Can you believe it? We're finally done grating this bish. We're gonna have to squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze all the juice out of there. Ooh, there is a lot of water in there. That is a juicy carrot. That's what they called me in high school. Good to know. To this bowl, we're also gonna add the halloumi, obviously. Now we're gonna chop some spring onion. Spring onion. <laughs> so Mr. Ramsey said he likes to put a lot of herbs in there, so that's what we're also gonna do. We've got some lemongrass here, which I'm gonna mint, dill, and some basil, because I love basil. Amazing. Now it's time for two eggs. 
and add that to the mixture. And lastly, we add a couple of tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And as I'm a professional chef, I definitely know how much that means just by looking at my mixture. Now, unfortunately, we have to mix all the ingredients together using our hands. It's really important to identify the seasoning now. If you wait until you've cooked them, it'll be too late to adjust the seasoning. Mm, I don't want to try this now. Bit of pepper, bit of salt. I don't know. I don't know. And as we all know, we always got to put a little bit of tahini in there. Now we gotta shape them into mini burgers. Oh my god, they're already falling apart. No, they're not, are they? Put them in the fridge uncovered for 25 minutes. Let's chop up, let's not chop up some chili, which he does, but I won't. Next, let's chop up some ingwer. Ingwer? <laughs> I'm done. Let's chop up some ginger. Season it with sugar and salt. Some rice wine vinegar in hopes that this is rice wine vinegar. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Some chopped coriander. Coriander? I did not buy coriander. Should we just add basil? <laughs> it's fine. Amazing dip. It's basically just ginger. Pan oil kicks. Mm -hmm. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Now look at these sweet babies fighting for their lives. Do you think they will make it out alive? Here comes a spoiler. They will all make it out alive and we will all be very, very happy for them. Alrighty, this is what my cakes look like. They look alright. They actually look really tasty. Like, I can't wait to dig in. I'm not sure about this, but we're gonna try together. I always forget how long cooking takes. That's what I hate so much about cooking. That's why I don't cook that much. I do my daily meals, but they never take more than half an hour. Anything above that is very critical in my eyes. Yes. Uh oh, uh oh. Hang on, I think I like this dressing. <laughs> this is very nice. I like this a lot. Mm, mm, mm. It just took me for fucking ever, which the reason might be that we don't have a grater, but... All right, it's time to turn this into a steak. I already feel overwhelmed. I already want to stop, but we're not gonna stop. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. I'm sorry, what the fuck is this scary face? Next, and here comes the problem. <laughs> I'm supposed to char this eggplant. However, we do not have a gas stove. We also do not have a barbecue anywhere near us. So my solution to this problem, which I know is not gonna work, but I just needed a solution. I bought a grill pan. Yeah. I don't, I don't know either, guys. We just need the flavor, I guess, and also for the skin to peel. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Something's happening. Namely, I'm gonna turn on the coffee machine because I think we could all use a coffee right now. Guys, sometimes it sizzles. I'm kind of losing hope, guys, but like it's starting to burn. But I don't know if this is what we're looking for. I helped. <laughs> That looks like in the video. I mean, I just accidentally cut into it. Yeah, but still. <laughs> this is taking forever. I don't have forever. But I guess I'll just watch other people yeah. play a game that I wish I was playing right now. <laughs> We're proper burned now. Damn, hurry up. I don't know, man, is it starting to work? Honestly, I think I gotta turn it off now. It deflated. It's so flat now. Ew. Uh, is that a kidney? <laughs> it's a steak. Let's try and peel this bitch. Oh, this is very sticky. Beautiful. Now I've already prepared a steak rub, which just consists of a lot of spices and herbs, I guess. I put some dill in there, pepper, rosemary, some mushrooms, some paprika, some garlic powder, and onion powder, and some cumin. And now we're gonna rub it into our eggplant as well as some salt. Sprinkle it all over. Now we drizzle this with olive oil. 
And we pour some red wine over the egg blend to lightly cover the bottom of the baking dish. This is the first time I bought red wine in my life. And I'm unable to open the bottle. Ow! <laughs> what the fuck? I hate this. Even the bottle does not want to be used by me. <laughs> this hurt. Ah! No. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck is this? No, it doesn't fit. Apparently, if you put it in warm water... <laughs> not fucking working. Oh. <laughs> Roast an oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Then turn it once and then for another 30 minutes. Let's have a break and then we'll make the juice. 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 Whatever. Juice? Oh. In a pan, we now have to bring the rest of the wine, 240 milliliters of beet juice and rosemary, to a rapid boil. All right, I think this is a rapid boil, so now I'm reducing it to a medium heat and let it simmer until it reduces. I think this reduced enough, I don't know, but I assume. <laughs> so now we can add 100 grams of our vegan butter. That's so much. <laughs> and some vegetable broth. Now let's take it off the heat and add some soy sauce. I don't know how much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's here to flip you somehow. Now technically it has to stay in there for another 30 minutes, but I'm not gonna do that because it already looks like it wants the juice. <laughs> According to the video, I have to add the juice now. According to the recipe, however, I don't have to do it just yet, but I'm just gonna trust the video because I, I don't know, I think I have to do it. Let me just tell you, it does not smell that good. In the meantime, guys, we can start preparing our steakhouse mushrooms. We're gonna heat a skillet over medium-high heat, drizzle one tablespoon olive oil into pan and sear trumpet mushrooms cut side down until golden. Season with salt and remove from pan. Add shiitake along with another tablespoon of olive oil. Cook until caramelized, slightly tender, and most of the water has evaporated about three to five minutes. Add remaining mushrooms, half the butter, shallots, garlic, Season with salt and lots of butter. Cook until mushrooms are tender and caramelized. Sprinkle with thyme. Deglaze pan with wine. Pour in stock and simmer until it reduced by half. Swirl in remaining butter and season with salt, pepper. Keep warm. Guys, there's a lot going on here, but it's time to flip this and put some more juice on it. Juice, 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 juice. I don't know how to pronounce that. Now that I've shared a new post on my Instagram, which you guys should definitely follow if you don't do that already, we can start serving our steak. Is it burned or is it just dark? It doesn't look very good in this baking tray. It smells extremely nice though. Mmm, this looks like a nice steak. Oh yeah. Some mushrooms on top. It looks <laughs> sad without the mashed potatoes, but this is just how we live life. In sadness. Mmm, I haven't had a steak in such a long time. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You know what? It looks like a very dark steak, but I think you could mistake it for a steak. From here? <laughs> I think it's time to taste test this beauty. The texture, mm, very tender, <laughs> very tender meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's okay. There's basically no texture. It melts in your mouth. You don't have to ask me, don't worry. Is it always so soft? I mean, it's just quite blend <clears throat> that's been cooked for like 14 hours. Yeah, but I love the sauce. It definitely does give you like a steaky feeling. Yeah, because of the sauce probably. Yeah. I like it too. Thanks for liking it. I mean, I like it, but like, is it worth it? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna eat this up now. I've got dinner. It only took me four hours. Oh no. Oh no. After dinner, I seem to miraculously have fallen asleep and I've only just woken up wearing different clothes on a different day. <laughs> I guess it's still time to make our dessert, so let's go into the kitchen and make that dessert. What are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah. 
For dessert, we really don't need a lot. We just need a pineapple, pomegranate, sea salt, vanilla, and mint. I'll try and handle this. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how well this worked. There are probably a hundred easier ways how to do this, but I was just searching for a safe way, especially since I was wearing a white shirt. Now that that is done, let's prepare a vanilla salt. I'm just gonna grind some salt into this. Time for the vanilla. A little bit much vanilla for not a lot of salt, but we're going with intense flavors. Now it's time for the ananas, the pineapple. Did I even tell you what we're making? <laughs> we're making a pineapple carpaccio. That is why now we gotta slice the pineapple very thinly. Try it least. He did not cut out the middle part, so I won't do it either. Aha, we're basically done already. <laughs> Take a plate, sprinkle some of the salt, pineapple. <laughs> this is not thin, but it's as thin as I could get it. Sprinkle some pomegranate seeds on it. Lastly, the mint. Cut into very thin pieces and top it off. I mean, clearly we can't expect too much because it's not a lot, but I'm still excited to try it. I think it should be very fresh and refreshing. <laughs> Why am I so red? I don't like the salt. I think that's the problem. I don't like the salt with a pineapple or anything for that matter. No, I'm a failure. Wait, actually, could I have done something wrong? Maybe if I had put a little less salt, but I still think I put less salt than he did. So I think I'm not to blame. I'm probably to blame, but I'm, I don't want to be to blame. That being said, let's just disregard the dessert. And I think the other meals that we did, they were really nice. I liked them a lot. I especially loved the cakes, the vegetable halloumi cake thingies. The eggplant thing, just don't. It's not worth it. It was good, but not worth it. Should I try something else, guys? Would be my next question. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you'll try any of these recipes as well. Entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Y bye!